Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-September 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's see, Kathy. Okay. <clears throat> okay, the overall energy for the reading, the two of wands. Um... Based on your reading and what's coming out in it, I would say this is an, the energy of, um, oh man, I feel like you feel that things aren't happening necessarily, and this is kind of like, wait for it. Um, let's see, uh, starting off the reading, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, crossed by the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's that kind of an energy where, you know, you're, you're doing as much as you can in a particular situation you're dealing with, you know, you struggle to do this and that and the other, nothing really comes together it's like what the hell is going on uh kind of like that energy where you're starting to to question it starting to be like maybe it's not meant to be maybe these are signs that i should stop or you know maybe it's not the right direction it's kind of looking like that i don't think that it's not i think that it's not now kind of looks like that for some reason in your focus here the page of swords um okay yeah, I mean, you are putting an effort into something. It's not much at this time, but it's something. You're doing something. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you would want to do more or you would want for things to pick up a little more. There's that lag almost in this. In the recent past, something ended here with the Ten of Swords, or maybe you thought something would not happen, something would not play off. Uh, in your strength here, the Ace of Cups, you could be starting something new, something that's important to you. Something with someone, it does surround um, the feeling of love, so who knows? Who knows what the hell this is? In the immediate future, the Hierophant. This could be talking about beliefs, values in this instance. Something of depth. Something of core. Uh, we'll we'll see when we get there. Um, the supportive energy here, the Queen of Swords. You're quite practical about things. You're quite um, logical, up in your head about things. You are coming in as being clear, even if you're up in your head about things. <clears throat> but if you are searching for an Ace of Cups energy, you would need to open up a little more from your heart you know, in this situation. So, uh, yeah, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, your intuition is right there. You feel like you're not tapping into it. You're not necessarily listening to it. It's like, you know it's there, but you're not using it, you know? In your hopes and fears, hoping that things will work out fine in that equal give and take energy, in the potential outcome, this is the devil, this is your energy, so I don't even know what the hell is going on. Um, over there, but let's let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. Let's go a little deeper. Maybe we can figure this one out. Uh, let's do the two of wands. So it is about love. Oh, come on. Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, the Temperance card. It is about love. Uh, it, it almost looks like you're waiting for almost for you to be available emotionally. There's Kind of like waiting for your heart to come out and play. Like, come on, where are you at? You know, chop, chop, where are you at, heart? Um, either on yours or on somebody else's, but to some extent, I feel like it's yours. I feel like you're waiting for your heart to come out and play. Um, let's do the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a bump in the road. It's you're in the middle of that bump in the road. 
there's something going on there's something that wants to to um be established something that wants to to form there's something that wants to start off um but it starts off with a bump in the road and you're right there at that freaking bump um and it's confusing at times because it feels like this is not working out something's not building up something's not happening uh, it creates confusion, it creates a little bit of heaviness, but I see you pushing through. I see you being like, you know what? Maybe once we pass this bump. <clears throat> Let's do the Ace of Wands. Seven of Swords, the Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles. It's interesting here because you're showing me an energy of... That's why this Page of Swords is here, now I get it. You know how we say a lot of the times, I'm just gonna let it play out and see what happens. But even when we do let it play out, we still need to put an effort, you know, in that situation. And a lot of the times we kind of leave it on whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. And we forget to put in any kind of energy. So I kind of see you in that place where you're like, whatever happens, happens. And oh, by the way, I'm not gonna do anything in this. I'm not. I'm not really gonna participate in this either, because whatever happens, happens. You know. Um. Mm, mm, yes, but if there's something you want out of this, and if it's something that draws you in, you would still have to put in a little effort. You would still have to participate in it, because you're showing me I'm gonna let it happen, and I hope it works out without me even moving a finger. Yeah. Ideally, I hope that happens for everybody, but it's a 50-50 game. You would have to participate in it too, because otherwise you don't really want it, you know? It doesn't make sense that you want something where you're not putting in any kind of effort. Um, hmm. Let's do the Page of Swords. So you're kind of pulling back your energy and whatever. Page of Swords in your... Okay, well, you, know, you, you could have told me that from the beginning and then I would have been like, oh, okay, that's what's going on. Uh, for the Page of Swords, you get the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. You're overthinking things. Um, and when you start overthinking things, that's when fear actually takes over. And when fear takes over, that's why you're kind of like, I'm not gonna do anything, let it happen in whichever way. But you're actually scared in participating you know, to make it happen. Because this fear of abandonment, fear of failure, and it is tied up to a past experience, so something from your past where things may have not worked out, is kind of running the show here for you. So when you're functioning through that, you immediately find yourself overthinking things. And when you're overthinking things, you're led by fear. And when you're led by fear, you're definitely not gonna put in any kind of effort into this. Um, let's do the Ace of Cups in your strength. King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. This is good news. Because your heart is available. It's just a matter of talking to it, noticing it, acknowledging it, and being like, hey heart, I see you. You know? and allowing it to come out and play. So it's like half of you is overthinking things and is ran by fear, half of you is there available for this. Um, now I don't see any movement necessarily through this other half of you, through the hard half of you. Uh, I do see a lot of healing happening, which is great. And I do see the desire for something to come through, something beautiful from that place. This, while this side of you pulls you away from it, this side of you is kind of standing still and growing, just in love. Um, interesting. So the Hierophant in the uh, immediate future. Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands. There you go. Things are starting to roll. Things are starting to move. That's why this energy is here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Because as you're healing this, as I said, it's starting to grow and it's going to start moving. The energy needs to move at some point and you're moving at some point. So you're definitely starting to move here in the immediate future or there's another energy moving towards you. But I kind of see this as you, you know, the more you heal, 
from that hard perspective, the more you're going to start moving, um, being guided from that place rather than the fear. Cool. Let's do the Queen of Swords. King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Lovers. All right. There's definitely a match here between you and whoever this is. Um, you have the tendency, the both of you, to be practical about things, to be logical about things, which is not a bad thing necessarily. Um, just the connection you're holding on to the both of you as you experience this together requires the heart too. You know, um, it requires especially the heart. So it's it's looking like it's functioning for now it might um push you into the direction of the heart more you and them because for now it's kind of looking like okay okay it's cool but this energy is carrying so much um love that it's it's not gonna let you it's not gonna allow you to be practical about it you know um let's do the high priestess in the hidden energies, the three of pentacles, the moon, the three of wands. This could have been something that's been kind of stagnant in this possible friendship or who knows what the hell this is. Because it, it's looking like it's a, there is an exchange of energy between you and whoever this is, but it's been there for a while. Um, and I feel like inside, intuitively, you kind of knew what this whole situation was about almost like recognizing that there's a potential here or a soul connection here um so it's been stagnant in energies of hey let's just hang out and let's whatever but nothing tied up to the heart and now it's kind of pressing on the heart this whole situation for the both of you let's do the six of pentacles in your hopes and fear <clears throat> Ace of Cups, King of Wands, Five of Wands. You may be dealing with a very passionate energy, which could be at times leading to conflict. It could. Um, that's just the way it's coming through for me. It's it's kind of like, well, that's not a problem. It's just different energies uh, coming together. And sometimes they mismatch, you know, where your energy is more earthy or earth sign if they're a fire sign or they don't even have to be a fire sign but if they're more passionate in their energy it's gonna be a little bit of a mismatch and that's when things might get a little spicy not in a good way you know so keep that in mind there's definitely uh good energies beyond that there's love there's passion there's equal give and take there's good times here because the energies might fall into different places at times, it might get conflicting uh, here and there. But I don't see that as the predominant energy in this. Let's do the devil for the potential outcome. The death card, the tower, the six of wands. Oi, oh, ah, what? <laughs> that I didn't expect. What, what just happened? You're gonna have to let something end. You're gonna have to let something fall. There's this tower that's coming through. I don't know what it's about. It sucks because we're at the end of the reading, but I don't I don't feel like it's this relationship necessarily. It could be. That would be ironic, but um it is tied up to you, this whole sense of let it go. I don't know what of. I feel like you'll know when it's coming because it's kind of showing up a little brutal, a little rough. So it's like, oh, okay. So I, I kind of get the sense that it's an energy that belongs to you, one that you're having a hard time letting go of. And this whole situation right here might force you to. And the minute you let it go, you're like, oh, like you feel over the moon, you know? But it's a struggle to let it go. Because it's been a struggle because it's tied up to you for quite a while here so let's see what the universe has to close it off the chariot the ten of pentacles the four of pentacles okay i mean things are growing and evolving here pretty fast by the looks of it <laughs> i get a sense that it's that that whole sense of 
um, you know, one day at a time, we'll take it easy, we'll, we'll see where it goes, And but energetically speaking, things are growing quite fast here. There's, there's an ascend, ascending of the situation, quite a fast one. And it's because someone, possibly you, possibly them too, is getting a lot of clarity over what it is that they're wanting out of this. So the more clear you are, the faster things are going to evolve here. Which is not a bad thing, but just so you know, things might speed up faster than you think. Um, <clears throat> let's see an oracle card to close the whole reading from the Divine Animals Oracle. And you get the tiger will, let's see. Come on, there you are. There you are. Alright. <clears throat> Tiger magic. Where was I? Tiger magic is wild and mysterious. It is the energy we can use to counter jealousy, threat, and rage. It is highly protective and helps us find a more resourceful way to deal with difficult situations and people. Tiger magic is feminine in aspect, and women can use it to help them gain confidence and to find their healthy fierceness. Fierceness. Um, well, then there's symbology stripes, glowing eyes in the dark, women riding, women riding a tiger. There's a symbology of the card. Okay. Status. There are currently less than 4,000 tigers in the world. They are critically endangered. I like these fun facts at the end. Um, so yeah, I kind of get the sense that this is uh, really tightly close to this energy of conflict where things might get a little too spicy, you know, uh, if the energies are a little different and it gets heated up not in the best way. Um, I kind of get that this is what this tiger is coming in for, but that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.